Hi, my name is Alia and I've been doing the carnivore diet since March 2023. In this video, I want to explain how to get started and how to do the carnivore diet. I have had great wins physically and mentally, uh, so many successes and so many changes that were so profound for me. And I want to share how to eat this way so other people can have similar successes. I want people to be happy and healthy. And this is, I want people to be happy and healthy. And this is a fantastic way to eat, to be able to change your body and get it back into good health. I also, so you know, have many success stories on my channel of people getting off of psychiatric medications through eating this way and feeling their anxiety and their depression lift. And so I have a passion to help people because I want them to feel good mentally and physically. Here are the steps of how you can do the carnivore diet. Honestly, it's really simple. I'm just gonna just break it down right here. But first thing you wanna know is you have to have your why, why you're doing this. Um, if you're just doing it to lose weight, find another, a uh, more important reason to stick to eating this way because it's not really about weight loss, it's about total body health and getting your body and your mind in a happy and fantastic place. So get that straight. You have to have your mindset correct when you go into this. Um, I went into this after all the research I did that it was gonna work for me. I didn't know how it was gonna work for me. I, didn't, I, I was just trying to lose some weight and with the idea that potentially it could heal some gut issues that I was having. Um, and I was blown away by everything else that changed from doing this. I've done various videos on my successes, so I don't totally wanna to get into that in this video, but just know your mindset needs to be positive and that you're gonna win and you're gonna have success when you do this. And keep that in the forefront and keep why. What is the exact reason that you're gonna do it so that helps you stick to it? Like a target of at least 30 to 90 days of trying out eating this way and transitioning over to eating this way. Um, and have that in mind so that you carry through at least for the, that period of time. When you're transitioning over, do it like on a one to three week period. That is a good recommendation. However, I do say that I am more of like pull the bandaid off. And if you're a pull the bandaid off person, go right ahead and pull the bandaid off. Um, I would start with getting, but if you're doing the transition, start with getting like the seed oils and ultra processed refined foods out of your diet while incorporating um, fatty meats into your diet. The carnivore diet is like a high, fat, high fatty meat sort of way of eating. At the end, I'll put a menu plan video so you can watch that and see how you can eat over a five day period, for example, uh, while you're on the carnivore diet. But it's a fatty meat sort of diet. So first, absolutely the worst possible things we're putting into our body that are is literally destroying it and destroying our minds. Um, seed oils and ultra processed foods, highly refined processed foods, get those out of your diet um, and then transition over to eating more meats, more eggs, get those in on day one. I think the easiest way to actually just start eating this way is uh, Dr. Barry has the beef, butter, bacon, eggs. And if you just start eating those foods and eat till you're full, you're actually not gonna crave that other stuff that would happen because there are withdrawals that happen when you switch over to eating this way potentially. Sometimes people don't feel those withdrawals at all. Um, sometimes people feel them very strongly because those foods made with seed oils and ultra processed foods are made to be very addictive. Scientists in laboratories so that you buy them and eat them and wanna keep eating them because they were working for a for-profit company. They need to make profits. They need to make stuff that you're gonna to wanna to continuously eat. They've made them in such a way that it totally screws up the communication between your brain and your stomach. And so you keep eating them and you could be totally full and you can just keep eating because the signals and the hormones in your body are not correct. One of the things that gets handled on the carnivore diet is that actually you understand your hunger signals. So back to the transition, transition, get those things out first. Uh, get, start eating immediately beef, butter, bacon, eggs, eat chicken. I can't stress enough the eggs. Um, I do wanna say when you're on the carnivore diet, you might wanna consider eating liver because liver is actually a superfood either from cow, pork, or chicken. Eat what you like, find one of those that you like. I do not like beef liver. I'm gonna do another video about that later, but I do like chicken liver. Sometimes I like pork liver, sometimes. I highly recommend if you do not like liver to try liver worst or like a liver pate. Um, I found duck pate, it's actually very good. It tastes great. So that's like your gateway over to being able to eat liver. So you're doing beef, butter, bacon, eggs. You're doing some liver maybe a couple times a week. 
Uh, you need to start taking electrolytes daily. Uh, Dr. Berry also recommends minerals. He has uh, electrolyte and mineral formula. I believe it's called Keto Chow. Look for it on Amazon. I'll put a link below actually. Um, and you want to start taking those. And you start the carnivore diet. And I know it's a transition over, but I highly recommend that you just get the junk food out of the house. Get the seed oils out of the house. Um, I recommend throwing away, someone mentioned maybe somebody that doesn't have any food, like a homeless person, you can give it to them or donate it. So whatever you feel correct doing, but you need to get it out of your house. You need to make these things that you are addicted to or maybe you don't feel you have addiction to it, but these things that are unhealthy for our bodies, we need to get them out of sight, out of mind, get them out of the house and continue to transition over. You can transition over in one three week period. This is, you're doing this for the long haul. For me, um, I like the bandaid off approach, just rip it off. When you're eating, you're gonna eat every day until you are full and you're only gonna eat when you're hungry. So maybe it'll take some days to sort out what actual hunger is while, while it, because your hunger signals might be screwed up, but eat your meals till you're full. If you wanna eat three meals a day, go ahead. If you wanna eat two meals a day, do that. You're gonna find out as you're doing this process that you're actually gonna eat less and less uh, meals because you're gonna eat so much during your meal. Okay, I'm gonna talk about a supplement that I like to use. Um, even to this day, I, I use it off and on if I need it, but when I started, I was using it, I believe more, um, and that is betaine hydrochloride. I'll put a link for that below. Also, um, that is basically a stomach acid supplement. Maybe our stomachs aren't strong enough, and maybe some carnivores won't agree with me on this, but I'm for me, I needed to do it, and maybe you will need to do it because we're gonna be eating a lot more fat than we're used to, and it's very healthy fat, but we need to be able to digest it easily. Um, and I think this might help uh, with stomach upsets that could occur when you're transitioning over this way. I wanna talk about poop for a second. Uh, your poop might be weird or might not be weird while you're transitioning over or while you're starting a carnivore diet. I'm gonna say poop, if you're constipated, you're not eating enough fat. If you are having diarrhea, you're eating too much fat. So you need to, you need to use your poop kind of as like a barometer for if you're eating enough fat or not, because if your poop is totally normal, it's just you're eating the right amount of fat. Some people do have diarrhea when they start the carnivore diet. I don't know if that's the case for you or not. Um, back to the betaine hydrochloride, the stomach acid supplement that helped me. I believe in that department. I didn't have diarrhea. I'll just say a side note that I had diarrhea and gut issues for years, so eating this way in almost instantly handled that issue for me. When you're cooking your food, I wanna bring up, use animal fats to cook your fine tallow, lard, uh, get the get fatty cuts of meat with a lot of fat on it and cook it in fat. This part could be or couldn't be controversial, but it's like, what do you drink? You're gonna drink water, you can drink sparkling water. Uh, some carnivores are fine drinking coffee or tea and that's up to you. But if you don't drink coffee or tea already, don't start drinking it, okay? Um, I'm just saying those are per Canberra acceptable drinks on the carnivore diet. If possible, and part of your transitioning over, get off of the sweeteners, get off of stevia. I, by the way, don't recommend drinking Diet Coke. People ask this once in a while, and, or diet um, anything, or the does and stuff like that. I don't recommend drinking that. That's just gonna keep your brain confused um, and constantly wanting sweet things. That's why I like to drink sparkling water. I drink it when I'm, Sometimes when I'm in the States, I will get the stuff at Walmart with flavor, but usually it's better if you just drink it without portents. Part of the whole like process of going carnivore is finding your community. I do live streams. There's communities in Facebook groups. Um, YouTube is great because there's tons of carnivores doing content that can always keep you on track. You can watch the videos. Um, or you have all the carnivore doctors, you can keep educating yourself, but also there's people that do live streams, like I do live streams, uh, Dave Mack does live streams, other people do live streams, and uh, semi-retired Bob, you can just hop on those and ask questions, and we're always willing to answer the questions, and it's just a group, in the comments, there's great people that'll answer your questions, and it's just a great group to help you stay on track. Also, Facebook groups, if you are female, there's a great group called Meat Sisters. Um, find that on Facebook. Um, they are awesome. It's one of the, you know, on Facebook, they can sometimes be jerks, like when you get into these various groups, but that group is awesome. It's nothing but love and help. It's not my group, by the way. I'm just promoting it. Here's some specific things that I also recommend you do when starting the carnivore diet. 
take your measurements. If you can, get your blood work done first. Get your blood work done so that in 30 or 90 days you can get it done again and you can see the positive changes or if you're concerned about anything, you can see that everything's A-OK -okay when you're eating this way. Um, take your measurements. Don't take your measurements at the beginning and maybe take them once a week or once every two weeks. I would say don't get at this point your mind stuck on the scale. I think at first you're going to lose a lot of weight and then it might get discouraging because a lot of water weight comes off when you don't eat so many carbohydrates. Um, it comes off fast. And then it might get discouraging if you keep eating this way and you see slow or very little progress depending on how sick your body is because your body's going to want to heal first before maybe it gets rid of the weight. I'm just saying this is a possibility. Um, so I say, don't look at the scale so much. I'm, I'm a culprit of this. I look at the scale often, but I think at the beginning, it doesn't really help. You could take your weight, maybe take it once a month or something, but do your, do your measurements because that I think is far more telling than the scale because you could also be gaining muscle. Um, the other thing is keep notes daily starting day one not don't track what you're eating you could track what you're eating um and you can use something called carb manager it's a free app to do so but more importantly track your changes in your physical body like uh, is your sleep better is your if you're female is your menstrual cycle better like track the things i noticed so many things and i didn't write them down and i'm kicking myself in the butt for it because i talk about the carnivore diet and i want to tell people all of my success stories and i i wish i had that list so keep the keep that list so also during your journey of healing your body, you can go back and remember and see all the things that you've changed by eating a healthy, proper human diet. About it, actually, it's very simple to do with the carnivore diet. Again, I'm gonna put a video, please watch that next. That is like a meal plan for a week on the carnivore diet and you can just try it out and see what you think. I hope that this was informative and it's gonna help you and I hope it will make you want to do the carnivore diet because it is such a fantastic way to eat. I'm just going to say like one of the things that it healed for me was healing my relationship with food. Um, my life, I, I want to say I've been fat many times, overweight many times, obese many times. Um, I'm still overweight right now, but I feel so much physically better. I'm becoming better by eating this way. And I know it's so hard to believe and you literally can't explain it until you try it out yourself. So I would love for you to be able to try this and have some success and feel physically and mentally better. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear if you have started the carnivore diet um, and your experiences on it, or if you've been doing it for a while, your experiences on it. And if you thought this video was like at all helpful, I would love a like and a subscribe. I would like to get my message out to more and more people. I specifically would love to help women and moms and adolescent girls um, who are going through puberty because we need to eat healthy so that we can, in the adolescence and puberty age, grow our bodies properly so that by the time we're old enough to be moms, we're fertile and we can have beautiful children with no problems and intervention and we can have our menstrual cycles monthly with no problems and just have it be a normal part of our lives and not something we hate. That's all I want to talk about today. I hope you found this helpful. See you in the next video.